on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back to Daybreak. So we've talked with Baptist Health about the proper way to apply sunscreen, but what happens if you get sunburned? Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson with Sherwood Family Medical Center is here with how to treat it. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so we've been talking. Yeah. The best way to handle sunscreen, sunburns, is to just prevent them. Yeah. But when they Don't happen, the first place. what do we need to do? Yeah, so I guess the, the first thing is identify the burn um, and treat. You can still actually treat that first day. So the sun burn, even though you're out of the sun that first day, your skin is actually still kind of cooking. Okay. Not, not a good way to think about it, but not fun way to think about it, but you want to try to cool down as quickly as possible. And so take that quick dip in the pool, but not in the sun, you know, don't stay exposed longer in the sun if you can help it. Uh, cool shower, cool bath, um, ice packs, ice wraps, those kinds of things. So stop the burn is, is first things first. And then to treatment. So uh, treating the burn, you want to go ahead and use moisturizers, emollients, anything that you can to keep that skin from peeling further. Um, and so you talk about aloe, you talk about creams, and anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen. So you know you want to talk to your doctor, make sure you're dosing it correctly. But ibuprofen, um, naproxen, anti-inflammatories help to kind of uh, uh, slow down that burn, heal the burn as well. And of course the moisturizer, this is the biggest thing on the table here because this is the thing you're going to be kind of greasing yourself up with several times a day to get that skin to heal a little quicker. Um, one little thing that I thought was interesting, uh, and it's actually a home remedy, is just using milk, a milk bath um, or a milk compress. Make sure you use the leaded milk, the whole fat milk, not skim milk, because it's the fats and the proteins in the whole fat milk help that help to everything. heal and help to moisturize and, and get the skin back on, on track. Really important thing is prevent the sunburn because mm -hmm. we know that getting a sunburn just five times as a child increases your risk of skin cancer about 80 percent. Wow. Yeah. And then getting a sunburn every two years increases your risk of melanoma, another skin cancer, about three times. Those are some pretty scary statistics. Yeah. So the best thing to do is always wear that sunscreen to take yeah. care of it before it happens. Absolutely. Something else we were talking about, you know, when you get a sunburn is you can actually get dehydrated. So it's also important to replenish those fluids as well. Absolutely. So, you know, Gatorade, apple juice, and just plain old good old-fashioned water because you will get dehydrated. Your skin is your largest organ that loses fluids and when you sunburn it loses it even quicker. Mm. So make sure you stay hydrated. The important thing is if you get a sunburn, especially if it's a child and they're feeling really sick, nauseated, uh, worse if they're vomiting, go see your doctor immediately. Okay, so there is a time where you, it yeah. might be important to seek yeah. medical treatment. If you have real severe blistering, if you're having the nausea, feeling woozy, and especially the vomiting, that's seeing the doctor. Okay, well, if anybody wants to get more information on this or mm -hmm. wants to check out these tips further, where can they go to do that? You go to the Baptist uh, website, uh, and uh, or you can go online also to CDC or, uh, believe it or not, just... Um, uh, WebMD will give you some good information as okay, well. Okay, we've also got the Baptist Health Health yeah. Line on the screen right now. Thank you so much for being here for yeah, that really pleasure. helpful information. Yeah.